And last but not least, this just came across my screen here as I was recording this. So, hey, perfect timing. We're going to talk about Shelby Harris. He is coming back. I'm so excited. We talked about the defensive tackle position and how, yes, a guy like Christian Wilkins, of course, the Browns were interested in him, but that was never a reasonable, practical option for the Browns going to make way too much money. And just, I definitely had a strong feeling. And if you, again, go back, watch my state of the Browns. A lot of the state of the Browns is playing out now in free agency. And that's why I did all those videos and all those breakdowns of the roster. If you look at the defensive tackle position, I talked about this. Dalvin Tomlinson locked in as your long-term starter, main guy at the defensive tackle position. Siaki Ika, the only other guy under contract. And he was a rookie last year, third round pick. So he's going to get integrated more this season into the rotation at that position. The Browns are going to do exactly what they did last year because it freaking worked. They're going to get a bunch of these one-year contract guys at the defensive tackle position. They're not going to pay a ton of money for an interior defensive lineman. They've got $14 million you know, a year sire, uh, wrapped up in Dalvin Tomlinson. That's the most they're going to do. They are going to fill the rest of this position with, with good quality, a little bit older players that are cheap. And that's why we got Maurice Hurst back. And now we get Shelby Harris back. Shelby Harris was awesome last year. He did excellent in his role. We had talked about this when when uh, I was with Kenny Mack talking about free agents and cap casualties. Maurice Hurst and Shelby Harris need to come back again as defensive tackles. And look at that, within the first 24 hours, 24 hours? Yeah, I guess I guess so. 20, 36 hours of free agency. Here we are. We got both of these guys back. Beside Dalvin Tomlinson, we got Zadarius Smith back. This is just, oh, this is awesome. I, I loved what our defensive line was last year. Now look for the Browns to add probably another defensive tackle on a one-year deal, a cheaper deal. And let's see who they add to that room because they did this last year. They added Tristan Hill. And I think there was somebody else. Now, a lot of a couple of those guys didn't make it through training camp, but during free agency, they were added. So they're not done. There's going to be another, at least one more defensive tackle added to this roster for at least to be a camp body, to be a summer guy to come in and compete and see what we do. And I, I wouldn't put it past the Browns to potentially draft another defensive tackle if a guy they really like is available, but they are in a spot where they don't have to. Everything that they've done in free agency so far has opened up the draft immensely. You get Jerry Judy. So that means you're not, man, I'm not pushing wide receiver you know, in the second round anymore because we got Jerry Judy. So if there's a guy there we like, cool. If not, go with a different position. We got the middle linebacker. Same situation. We got defensive tackles. We've got the opposite edge rusher from Miles Garrett. The Browns can kind of do whatever they freaking want throughout the draft, which is exactly the position Andrew Barry wanted to be in and he was going to be in and he's got us there now. So hats off to Andrew Barry. Thank you for everything that you are doing so far in free agency.